Hey guys, Billy here. This is tutorial number one, how to make a website for your church. Um, you start by going to tinypurplegrapes.com and when you get there you'll see a screen like this. Uh, just create, uh, click on create your website now and it takes you to a setup page where you enter uh, five, there's five fields you can enter, four of them are required. Um, and this is all you need to enter to get your website created. Uh, I'm going to be creating a website called The Grapevine. And what this is, is this is the name of the website. This is what will appear on the banner for the website that you create. The next line is where you enter your URL. So this is what somebody would type in to their browser to get to your website. So it's going to be some name that you come up with dot tinypurplegrapes.com so since I'm calling my uh, church website I'm calling it the grapevine I'm gonna uh, make my URL be grapevine dot tinypurplegrapes.com so I type in grapevine and then I can click here to check for availability and it says this address is available so we're good to go there now we're gonna need to create an administrator password so the administrator password is what I will type in when I log into the site. I'll put in the administrator password and that will allow me to edit all the content on the page or on the website. And I'm going to use the password banana. And then I need to come up with a member password. And the member password is something you can give out to all your church members. And they can type in this password and they won't be able to edit the site but they'll be able to download uh, member-only information. So you could post things like your uh, notes from your budget meeting or your uh, annual congregational meeting or whatever, some, anything that you think only members of your church should have access to. You can uh, put in the members-only section, and they'll only be able to get there by typing in the member password. So for the member password, I'm going to use the, the word grapes like that. Okay, so then uh, you can put in your email address, which is optional. I'm just going to leave it out. And uh, you've got to check this box. I've read the agreement to the terms of service. And you click create this site. And it's that easy. So now we have our website. It's at grapevine.tinypurplegrapes.com. It's called uh, the Grapevine. That's what appears in the banner page. You can see that a few default other pages have been set up, which I am going to remove. So now we're going to log in. So you click log in, type in your password, the admin password, which was banana. So I type banana, click OK. Now I essentially see the same thing, but you got these links here. You can upload a logo, turn on the slideshow, adjust the banner, upload a banner image, various other things. Um, what I want to do is I want to remove this default text that gets stuck in here on the welcome page. And I also want to remove those two other links, the photo albums. I'm not going to be using that right now. And same with the downloads page. So I'm going to turn those off. And now I'm going to edit the welcome page. So I'm going to delete this text. You can see you have a WYSIWYG editor here. I've got some uh, text that I'm going to paste in here. This was, this is text that's from uh, the uh, church website for where I go to church, and I'm just going to paste that in there for some for some text to use. Sometimes, if you paste text from a another website or from a like Microsoft Word, some of the formatting will be carried over. So what you can do is you can highlight. Uh, the text that you paste in there and then click on this uh, little eraser icon and that will remove the formatting so that it looks right on the website. If you don't do that, sometimes the formatting from the other website or from Microsoft Word or whatever will interfere with the formatting for your website. So unless you copy it from a text editor, you probably want to change that. Um, you click Save and then the website's updated and you can see your new text right there. Um, I think I want to make this text bigger. 
So I'm coming in here, I can adjust the font size. Yeah, I'll try that and maybe uh, have it all be centered. Let's see how that looks. All right, so here's our here's our website. Now, if you want to see how it looks without the links for editing, we just log out. And there we go. So that's what our user will see when they come to the website. Um, in future tutorials, I'll show you how to create a slideshow that will appear up here in the logo area. I'll show you how to upload a banner image. We can do photo albums, calendars, upload a map for your church. And uh, oh, one other really cool thing is you can view user st usage statistics. You can go into, uh, I should have showed you this while I still logged in, but you can click on the usage statistics link and it'll show you all kinds of stuff like how many people have visited your page, how many different people have visited your page, which pages on your website they've visited and how often. It'll even list out the IP addresses of everyone who's visited your site and how many times they've visited. So you get really good usage statistics for your site, but we'll do that on another uh, screencast. So I'm uh, about out of time, so I'm going to end this tutorial, and I'll see you next time.